When you're working with tools, especially screws and screwdrivers, sometimes it helps to have them magnetic. And you can go out and buy one of these magnetizer, demagnetizers. You can read it there. It says magnetizer and demagnetizer. And yeah, um, but they cost money and they're kind of big and bulky and I don't like big and bulky things in my toolbox that don't really need. So uh, yeah, let's see how it works so that we can kind of level set it against a different way of doing it. So you just stroke it through the magnetizer side a few times like that. And then you run it through these stair steps like this and it's still a little magnetic but yeah for the most part it's gone so what this is doing is you have two magnets one is here underneath where it says magnetizer and the other one underneath where it says demagnetizer these two magnets are facing each other so they're repelling so it's either north north or south south and yeah then what happens is when you run it through like this it magnetizes it and then when you demagnetize it, you come up here and it's the opposite because this is, uh, let's say this side's north and this side's north. This side up here will be south. And what you're doing is you're stair-stepping it away from the, from the magnet every time. And yeah, so like I said, still a little bit magnetic. But you can do the same thing if you just have an ordinary magnet like this. Uh, this one has a dot on one side, no dot on the other side. And so you can magnetize it. Let's see if I can coerce it into being magnetic. Nope. Let's try this side. There we go. And you can do that. A lot of times I'll just leave the magnet on the screwdriver if it's small enough. And you can see one way will be magnetic and the other side is not magnetic like that so that's one way of doing it and the other way you can do it I mean if you don't like the magnet on there you can stroke it and do this and then you can kind of undo it and you do the same thing you use the opposite side but you bring it close without touching the magnet if I can do that or without touching the screwdriver to the magnet and yeah voila so all you need is the magnet you don't need this big bulky thing and you can have the same effect okay well i hope you found that useful and interesting in your diy home projects where you're working with screwdrivers and screws